So as we all know, the Call of Duty store is, um, it's, it's oversaturated these days with some pretty bizarre bundles and some very questionable skins. Let's just take a look. Just to show you ju just how goofy it be getting around here. We've got this. I mean, that looks like some futuristic tech e-girl cat suit or something. Don't even know what's going on there. We have... I mean... Like a knockoff Jason Voorhees in a ghillie suit. Here we've got what I've what I've explained before on the channel to look like goddamn Teletubbies mixed with Barney the Dinosaur and some other shit. So we've got Wubs, Wubs and Friends. This is about the, the consistency you get of Call of Duty store now. I mean, it's just bizarre. We've got these killer zombie bunnies or whatever the fuck. But there was one that caught my eye. And I know there's a lot of pretty epic stuff here like Big Brain Ultra Skin. But one that really caught my eye was this one right here. The... <laughs> Tracer Pack Resonance Ultra Skin. This shit is worth 2,400 cub points. I have 4,400 right now, and that's because of the Black Cell upgrade. So I've got some expendable cub points. And as you as you guys may or may not know, if you're new around here, you probably won't know this. But I've done a few videos like this over the years where I check out bundles and essentially either take the piss out of how bad they are once I've actually used them, or I just talk about what's good with them. I honestly think it's a pretty fun series to make. I might as well make a playlist for them at this point because it's becoming quite a common pattern. But I thought this skin looked really interesting and it's got some pretty cool weapons with some absolutely insane tracer bullet effects. I I'm just going to say this now. I don't know if this is going to be actually as good as it looks. Probably won't be because it's card. But I mean, that shit looks pretty cool. Look, he literally... The guy, the guy bursts into like some weird purpley blood stuff like goo. That is badass. But again, it could be a complete scam. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chuck my cob point on it so you don't have to. <laughs> And, I mean, unless you really want to, you know, you can uh, get this. I mean, so far, the Anomaly Charm looks kind of cool. I don't see myself using that. We've got a one-hour Battle Pass token. That's useful. This Dark Matter Weapon Sticker, I am absolutely not using that. A large decal, also not using that. And, uh, yeah, the blueprints themselves, apart from the SMG, which seems to be moving to some degree, they look pretty shit. So... <laughs> Already, this thing, you probably would say, not worth it. But I think the main thing that's caught my eye is obviously the traitor bullets and then the skin. The skin, as you can see, looks like something out of Alien. If you've watched the Alien movies, you'll know what I mean. This shit is pretty crazy. So why not? Why not throw ourselves a little bit of money at uh, a card bundle? And let's find out, are the blueprints actually worth buying? Because it's not just the appeal of what they look like. It's also about the attachments that come with it. So if these attachments are absolutely garbage and these guns feel like they're going off all over the place and don't do enough damage. We know we've been scammed, okay? We know it's a rip-off and you guys don't have to buy the shit and you, you'll know if it's really worth it or not. So, hey, I don't know. Here goes. Here just goes nothing. I'm fucking buying this shit. Voila, we bought it. This could be the biggest regret of my life. Granted, you know, I've got plenty of expendable card points, so it's not like I'm really losing anything here. I've still got enough to get the next battle pass. So, yeah, this is a uh, ba Bantam skin. for uh, Well, it's for Operator Bantam, and it's called Titan. So, let's just equip that to multiplayer. And then I've got to equip these, apparently, onto my class. So, so we've got this one right here, which is the WSP-9. And then we've got the Tack Eradicator. So, I'm going to quickly go and put both of these on and their charm. And then we're going to get into some games and see how this shit performs. <laughs> 1v- We've got 1v1 shipment. Oh my god. Wait. <laughs> Should we test this against one person and see how it does? Now, actually, that, that would get me fucked, wouldn't it? That would actually screw me over if I went against one person every round with these guns. They, they probably don't even feel good, let's be honest. I mean, look at the skin, though. Look at that, bro. You're telling me this doesn't look cool? I'm, I'm saying right now, like, the cub points alone, I mean, it kind of, kind of warrants the skin. I mean, it looks like something out of Alien. Hey, you already said that, you fucking retard. Uh, you know, either way, I'm still happy with the skin. I think that's usually the takeaway I have from a lot of these when I make these videos is actually just the skins alone are pretty damn cool. So we're going to have to see. I don't even know why everyone's voting emergency. This this could be an awful lobby. Oh, goodness. It's the moment of truth that we've got an LMG and an SMG. Okay. Okay. Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. There's not a lot of attachments on this class, but this actually feels really good so far. Hold on. Wait a minute. Maybe I'm just maybe I'm just hoping it's good. I don't actually know. I haven't felt it entirely. 
Okay, okay, right. So what I'm noticing already is damage-wise, it's not super strong. That is one problem with this LMG. But, I mean, clearly, I'm in core. Right, I'm in core. I'm testing this thing in core so you get an accurate measurement of how this performs and not, you know, improved stats from hardcore. Oh, Yo, what what latency is this? Do you guys be getting latency this bad as me? I, I swear to God, it's just me that gets me the, gets the shit. It's so awful. I want to test the SMG. What is this scope? What is this scope? I mean, look, this glows in the dark. That's pretty cool, actually. I like that. Okay, fair enough. It, I mean, part of it glows. And we have some movement on it. But, uh, I mean, what the hell is the scope, though? Like, it's doing a lot of damage, this uh, this SMG, for sure. It's doing a lot of damage. But, I don't know, man. I'm not feeling this scope at all. What the actual hell? It's a good thing the WSP-9 is just a good gun in general. Because if it wasn't, this would definitely be slacking a lot right now. But, yeah, the WSP-9 is probably one of my favorite SMGs in the game. Because it's literally just the Uzi. And it feels super great. So, I guess, in that regard, we don't have to worry about it doing too bad. Badly, but it just kind of lacks a little bit accuracy wise like i feel like that's that's done on purpose they've given us the best looking gun with the worst attachments but then the one that has the best performance looks the worst i mean still has some glow going on but there's really no movement on this thing at all it just really just doesn't look as good i guess hang on hang on what the fuck what is this latency holy crap I mean, so far, the main redeeming thing about this bundle is literally the skin and the tracer bullets. I mean, this thing's... It's pretty powerful. It's definitely pretty powerful. I just wouldn't use this as it is. Like, most bundles in this game, they give you either an insufficient number of attachments or they give you the worst type. I swear to God, if I was to switch out a different magazine for the SMG and a different scope, it wouldn't look half as good. I mean, it probably keeps some of the, the base body design on it, but... That aside, it's not great. I mean, the LMG is definitely performing a lot better accuracy-wise, I have to say. And this one's doing better damage-wise. I'm just wondering if I can even win a game like this. Oh, God. It's just... It's, it's just so yucky, though. Like, I don't get it. Why, why this scope? I, I, I've genuinely got to ask, like, do they do it on purpose? Do they give us the worst scopes on these guns on purpose? It doesn't even look good. What is this shit? Like, what is this? I bet you could actually take the scope off and you wouldn't even lose the detail. It doesn't, like, I don't even think this scope even adds any detail to this gun. It just looks, like, black matted. That's literally it. I mean, so far, we've gotten some kill streaks in, so clearly... It's doing us pretty well. Either that or skill-based matchmaking is just treating me nicely today because I haven't played many matches in the past few days. I mean, I've been playing zombies. Oh my goodness gracious. They're throwing the gas grenades! How dare you try and gas out one of, one of the metamorph creatures. I am a species of alien now. You're not allowed to do that. Oh my fucking god. I swear to god, these aren't even tracking now. Bullets are not tracking. What the... Got a guy up there, and I can clearly see him. He's just hiding, though. Yeah, I mean, recoil-wise, this thing's awesome. It's it's really good. The, the the LMG, the TAC Eradicator, actually has accuracy, at least. It's just it's just not the most reliable ammo-wise, I feel like. Maybe it could do with some more ammo. And also, I'd say maybe ADS. Just a bit of ADS could be done with this. It doesn't also look the best, either, like I say. Appearance-wise, if you want the best-looking one, it's the, it's the SMG, for sure. They both have the glowing feature, but this one also has movement on it, which is very subtle. It seems to be mostly on the stock and also on some of the top area, but it's very invisible to see. I might be thinking of zombies, but can't you go in third person in this? Whoa, he turned into like purple splatter. He turned into ecto, not ectoplasm. I was going to say ectoplasm, but ectoplasm is supposed to be green. Yeah, I mean, so far, there's not enough attachments on them. That's fairly obvious. Attachment wise, they're pretty yucky as well. I mean, how was I going to land that when the fucking game spiked the lag? That makes no sense. Okay. Fuck off. <laughs> no, I'm not. You're not taking me down. That's just not happening. That You're not You're not, You're not. not going to do that to me. No, no. Cringe. So that is the... 
what the fuck is his name? See, I've already forgotten. That just goes to show how completely similar these bundles are. I mean, generally, on a large scale, a lot of them just say Ultimate Something or Tracer Pack or whatever. I, I, I've actually forgotten the name of it. I'm just gonna call it the Alien Bundle. So far, I have to say, the Alien Bundle only has two strengths, I guess. It's only two strengths are the Tracer Bullets, maybe some accuracy just a little bit, and mainly also the skin. I mean, visually, the blueprints aren't that cool. They are a bit mid. The only redeeming thing about this seems to be the glowing red in the dark, and that is it. The actual movement, for the SMG at least, is like barely visible. I mean, look, most of it's down at the bottom. It's just, it's, it's, it's just kind of mid, I guess. It's not really that cool. I mean, it definitely looks better when it's combined with your character's hands and stuff, because it fits the general style of metal looking, almost rib cage looking stuff. I mean, it's just kind of, I don't even know man. I feel like this was probably the worst <laughs> the worst purchase by far that we've actually done weapon wise for blueprints on this channel. They're not very good. They're really not that good. But like I say, very cool tracer bullets. And I mean, clearly the accuracy is actually not too bad. Actually, it's just it's just the scope's hideous. But yeah, I would definitely say getting this class alone for the LMG actually is pretty worth it. See? It does pretty well. It, it, it does pretty well. I will give them... I'll commend them there. They actually gave us some decent attachments. Even though they've given us like three or something. There's four on that. Then there's five on the SMG. So the SMG does come with full attachments. The LMG doesn't. It comes with four. Then again... It's not bad. It's not a bad class. The the charm, I mean, what even is that? You can barely see it. It just looks kind of, like, very stripy and small. Like, it's very invisible, to be honest. That just looks kind of crap. I guess that's all there really is to say about this. I mean, yeah, if you want this bundle, I'm just going to say it to you right now. Don't bother. It's really not worth it. Like, unless you just want the skin really badly, that's cool. The skin is definitely cool, but everything else is not worth it. Like, that's the only thing I can see that's worth buying for this. It's just the skin. It looks like something out of the Alien movies. That's literally it, though. So, hey, I, I checked out another bundle. Let me know what you think of this. If you think I should do more of these, I don't know, check out those fluffy, weird characters inside of the store right here, you know. Let me know. Do you think I should chuck any of my COD points at this shit? Yes. S sometime in the future. I mean, right now, I don't have enough for it, but, you know, I could get this and see if this is even worth it, because this looks hella goofy. Whoops and Friends looks kind of hype. I don't know. The game's just getting quite questionable with their bundles, I've got to be honest with you, but it's, uh, it's funny for content, I guess, just to check them out and see if they're even really worth it or not, how much value there is behind the expense of COD points they're expecting you to pay for them. I don't know. But anyway, again, let me know what you think in the comments. Be sure to check out all the links down below. And yeah, thank you everyone for watching. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye, guys.